my partner in crime in all of this is Zev Neumeyer, who is the head of technology at Enscape. And as Zev likes to say, there's really not an original idea in OR at all. We stole everything from a bunch of other people. And what he really means by that is, there have been a number of players over the last few years that have tried to bring scale to the addressable market and even tried to do that on smart TVs. And, you know, we even had some conversations with some of those companies and, you know, one of them was a partner of ours and we never could really, there are a lot of technical challenges with someone being in the middle of that conversation. And then there are also a lot of business challenges. And so after several years of watching others try to do this, our perspective was, we just don't think this works unless and until it is a direct relationship between the inventory owners and the TV manufacturers. As long as there's someone in the middle, there are levels of complication that just won't make this work. And our other premise was that others had really tried to get to scale by asking, the, or, and in some instances, trying to force the entire market to jump into a single stack and adopt a single solution. And our position was, well, that's destined to fail because not all of those companies are going to want to use the same. I mean, NBC is going to want to use Freewheel. Warner Media is going to want to use Xander. Disney has their deal with Google. So our position was actually, rigidity is what's going to fail. Flexibility is the only way you're going to get to scale. And so our position was, let's, let's bring all the stakeholders into a room and let's build an open standard and just give it to everybody when it's ready. But we want those stakeholders at the table in the beginning of that build because we want to build that open standard to their requirements. And so we want to ensure that that sort of base infrastructure of, of the components necessary to deliver addressable works, you know, integrates with Freewheel, integrates with Google, integrates with Xander, and, and also have those stakeholders talk about, you know, not just the crawl phase of, of simple things like creative versioning, but you know the run phase when you get to greater levels of sophistication. And our position was, this was our idea, we're the stewards, but we're not the owners of the group. The members are the owners of the group. And so they, they're the ones making the decisions and we're just building everything to their requirements. So Jody, what is the agenda of addressable? What does that mean? And where do you think you want to, or will help make addressability more pervasive perhaps? So, to date, most addressable execution has been through the MVPDs with companies like NVIDI um, and Dish and Direct and, so, and some of the other platforms. Um, you know, obviously we think at least that there's a complementary ability to generate more scale on live linear. And so our, our point was, you know, because we even approached Xander and we approached Comcast about joining the group because while they are platforms, they're also inventory owners. And so to us, we bring incremental reach to all of those players. And you know, the scale is absolutely critical to addressable. And right now, part of the problem is, you know, there still isn't quite enough scale. I mean, I, I think what the MVPDs have done has been fantastic, but there needs to be more. And there also needs to be more premium linear inventory in that bucket for addressable. Because I, I think, I think the consensus is, at least, that the, the TV, TV needs to continue to become more digital, and so addressable is one of those executions that makes TV more di digital. Jerry, tell us about the uh, deal with Amobi, the integration of their technology. What does that mean? In any partnership like that with an Amobi, we're just, we sort of refer to ourselves as fuel. And so, I mean, I, I think the, the combination of um, the capabilities that Amobi acquired in the Videology deal, combined with, with Amobi's uh, core competencies and our data sort of ingested into those systems, you know, makes, makes their uses a much more pl powerful platform. Cool, and uh, finally, Jody, what's your, what's your hope for the industry? Uh, you, you've assumed a bit of a leadership role. Uh, where do you hope things go in the next 12 months? I'm old enough to have watched multiple consortiums in our business not go very well. I think, I think as a group we're beneficiaries of good timing in that I think the television stakeholders in our business understand that they need to work together to succeed. And so it's so far, you know, our meetings have been very collaborative. Um, everybody's leaned in pretty hard on the subject matter. 
and everybody's cooperating. Uh, so I, I'm really encouraged by that. Um, I'm just I'm just Catholic enough to always kind of keep my fingers crossed and. You know, so when people say congratulations, I'm like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> there's still a lot of work to do. <laughs> Hold, tap the brakes on the congratulations and let's get something live. And then I might actually take a breath. 